now let's move further click down in here you will say final we are going to create the document snapshot as I told you already about the document snapshot and they are working so this time we are going to name this as a job data base in which we will assign that we are about to create so first we will say avid and then we are creating the instance firebase firestore dot instance okay right to the collection of jobs and also we're gonna say dot doc with the specific document we will say widget dot job id we're gonna check that with the specific job id dot get then we will simply get all of the detail right from the collection of jobs that in the firebase firestore as you guys can see we are creating that instance in order to get all of the data right afterwards we're gonna also check if the job database okay in which we simply assign that okay as I explained it before simply we assign that right in the job database so in here right in the job database we contain all of that also we will check in here if this equal to no only in that case we will return nothing if it's equal to no if there will be nothing right in the job database if it's empty then we will say return nothing otherwise if it's contain the data it mean if the job database it's not equal to no if it's contain some kind of data then writing else what we will do we will say system since it's a start for widget so we have to write in here system so it will change it dynamically take this down now in here we will get all of the details let me also show it to you right in the firebase database and right in the collection of jobs so here we are right in the firestore database and right in the collection of jobs there are two jobs that I uploaded before from the same account as you guys know already so in here we will get the details like for example let's say job title okay that one also you will get the job description recruitment email location applicants created at and deadline date timestamp okay and so you will get the deadline date and so on okay so we will get that data right from the collection of jobs so I hope you can get the idea now that's how it will work so let's go back to the Android studio and work further so back again in here now first we will say job database okay then we will say get in there first the job data we are getting that right from the collection of jobs from the firebase firestore as you guys know already we are making that instance so with the help of that you will get that job title so we get the job title now what we will do we will simply assign that job title right to the string type variable job title let me show it to you there we go okay that we just created before that's why we created that before in order to get that job title and assign it to the string type variable job title so that's the reason so in here let's go and assign it job title now you will copy that and paste it down in here and in here we will simply say job database is going to be similar dot get now this time we will get the job description and guys the name must be similar as I told you already right in the collection of jobs the name right there and also in here it must be similar 
if it's not it will not get data so make sure to make it in a proper way so we're gonna get the job description and let's go assign it to the string type variable which is job description there we go desegregation all fine now I will simply just for time saving also we will get the requirement and the email the location the applicants created at deadline that stamp and also the deadline and we're gonna get that so first let me just make this in a proper way so this is gonna be simply for the requirement so and here we will say requirement gonna assign that to the requirement string type variable that we just created before also we're gonna get the email and in here you will say email company also you will get the location so in here you will say location and it's gonna be the location company okay also in here you will remove that and we will get the applicants So in here we will assign it to the applicants. Also we will get the created at and we will assign it post it the time stamp that one okay and also we will get the deadline date time stamp you will send that right to the deadline that timestamp there we go and in here you will also get the deadline there assign it to the deadline there there we go now we're gonna have to create in here variable by the name of post it just post and it is going to be simply the post it okay now we will simply say post it date timestamp we will check we are gonna get that do to that and right afterwards we will say post it that and gonna say in here first string then in here dollar sign Curly braces right in there first we will get the posted that dot ear okay so we'll say post that dot ear we're gonna get that right after minus sign okay again dollar sign curly braces right in there now we will say post that and we will get the month so in here we will say month and again in here minus sign dollar sign call the braces right in there we will say post date and get the day so that's how we will get the posted date okay and we just assign that right to this posted date and right in here right in this post date we assign that okay post it that timestamp dot to date that's how we will get the year month and day as you guys can see so I hope you can get the idea now now let's move further down in here we will create a variable by the name date in which we will assign deadline date timestamp there we go and I'll check dot to that and also what we will say in here is deadline deadline there we go with the suggestion now in this we will assign that dot is after and right in there we will say that time dot now 
so simply we just assign that right in the is deadline available so the working of is after as you guys can see right in here the comparison is independent of whether the time is in UTC or in the local time zone so I just gonna check that so that's all the working for getting all of the data of a job as you guys can see right in here so we have successfully created that and you guys can see that right in here and I have already explained that in detail and also we check it with the Firebase now we simply get the data the job and this video is getting a little lengthy so right from the next video we will create a design UI and uh, we're gonna use that data and show it right in the job details screens okay click in here right on this screen so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya